Let's go over assignment four really quick. You guys get to create personas. Yay. Actually, it's a little more than that. I give you a scenario, and then you need to do three things. I broke it down into two things, two steps. So here's your scenario. You've been hired to design an interactive system to facilitate patient, pediatrician, child, doctor, communication. As part of your design process, you are in charge of creating the personas. You must determine who those personas are and create two personas. Let's look at our steps. Step one, you need to look at your persona types. And you need to decide who your primary persona is. Excuse me. Your primary persona, secondary, supplemental, customer served, and negative. One of the things that you can do is, from the document that I was just typing in, just copy and paste the table, delete one of the columns, and of course delete the description of the scenario, and you can use that. That way you have a row for each type of persona. You won't forget any of them. So first, you need to do essentially what we did in class. You need to go and determine who your various persona types are. Piece of cake, right? Yeah, I hope so by now. All right, step two is you're actually going to be creating personas just like Ernest, our engaged employee. Right, just like this. Now, using the personas that you came up in step one, because now you have a list of personas, you're going to be creating first your primary persona. So the actual persona itself. Then you will create a second persona. You may choose which of the other personas you are going to create. So you must do the primary persona, you get to choose the other persona. So essentially, the document that you turn in, that you're going to upload to Moodle, will have three pages. The first page will be your list of persona types. The second page will be your primary persona. The third page will be another persona that you develop. You get to choose which one from your list. Sense? It's clear? Is it cake? Yep. Make sure that each of your personas is a full page. Do not do any mini personas. You can, if you want, find a different template online for your persona. If you do that, one, you must give me the URL of where you found that template. And two, you must make sure it is a full persona, not a mini persona. I actually recommend that you stick to looking at Ernest, the engaged employee. It's be easier. Any questions? You guys are ready to go? Because yeah. you have a whole 15 minutes to work on it in class. Yay! All right, if there are no questions, go ahead and start working on assignment four. And yes, it is an individual assignment, not a group assignment. But feel free to talk to each other and bounce ideas off each other. Right? I will leave this back up here so you can see it. I mean, they both teach it students. I feel like I dropped my classes and stuff like that. The teacher would be really good at grades. 
So what would you do? It depends on how you decide you're going to design the product. So if you choose the teacher for the primary persona, then what you're dealing with are interfaces for the teacher. And then the student would be the secondary. Okay. okay. Anything else before I take off my microphone? Okay, awesome.